Hey guys, Target Recycle and FPV, and I'm actually in the middle of doing a, a video for something else, and um, the button on my X light, X9 light broke. So I was like, hey, great timing. I'll go ahead and just knock this out uh, like this, and we're gonna go through on how to open this up and get it fixed, okay? So let me grab my screwdriver here. I'm gonna need my Phillips, I think. Is that right? Phillips, yeah. I need my Phillips, and of course, I don't even know if I have one sitting here, but uh, let me see if I can get one real quickly. Hold on one second. Okay, so of course, this would happen, so let me see what I got. All right, I think we're good. I'm gonna try a couple different ones just to make sure I got the right size. Here we go. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to take, open the case up because uh, unfortunately to get to that part of the button, and here's what broke. So right here, it's just, it just fell in, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. See if we can knock this out for you guys real quick. And again, guys, I am gonna to try to super speed through my videos uh, because I, I know you guys have time. I mean, your time is important is what I mean. And uh, I do not want it to take too long to help you guys out. But you can always slow these down and by all means guys look check this out so now boom you can always contact me so just go to the website contact me do not email uh, my target at cyclone fpv i'm actually getting ready to turn that off because it's become a spam folder for a lot of things and some advertising companies trying to get me to buy stuff so by all means just use the website it'll be easier from now on all right so the first thing we want to do is we're going to take out the four screws there's three of them there and the fourth one which is sitting on the bottom right here uh, it's not and you can always 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 just look pause the video slow it down whatever you need to do okay but um there we go. So first thing is we're open. We're going to disconnect this plug right here. There we go. All right, now I've got to get to my power button. This sucks because this is the one thing that, you know, you got to go through everything just to get to it. Uh, by the looks of this, it's going to be somewhat uh, of a pain in the butt, but let me see if I can uh, somehow make this work. All right. So to get to my power button, I'm going to have to just start taking things off the, off the board here, which I'm really not excited about, but let me see if I can make this as painless as possible. So that screwdriver is not going to work. We're going to need a little finer screwdriver. So I'm going to go with this one. There we go. And just keep track of what things you do take off. I'm not going to remove that ribbon yet, but I do see that all these are attached. So I'm hopefully going to be able to get something accomplished here where I do not have to take too much out. All right. But so far, I see a mandatory three screws, but it may be more here when I get into it. Now, I have not opened one of these before, but. I don't think there's very much to them, really, to be honest with you. Once you do one, you pretty much do them all. So there you go. So, so far, that was the right guess, okay? So it is just three. I'm going to go ahead and pop this ribbon cable off. Uh, so let's take that off real quick. And now look at that. That was really simple, actually. Um, so this is the button that caused me so much damage or so much problem here. Uh, and let me see how this is supposed to attach, because what concerns me is um, why it even popped off to begin with. Uh, question is, it looks like it has two pieces that we're going to hold... And so I just want to see the best way to put this back in so it doesn't happen again. Oh, I see, I see. See, up here is where it, is where it goes, right on these two dots. Let me see if I can zoom in for you there. So you're going to see these two little these two little pieces right here, right? And it just looks like this was supposed to stick on there, but it didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my glue gun on just to get this ready. Let's get the, um, let's get the tweezers out, if I can find my tweezers real quick. Yep, here they are. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to place this right back in there. And we gotta get it lined up on that on those two holes, right? And we've gotta go, there we go. So now with that there, I'm gonna wait for the glue gun to just heat up here real quick. Um, and uh, and then we're gonna be good to go. We're gonna put that back in, then we're gonna get started with the rest of the video, okay? And just kinda, kind of a bummer deal that I ran into some bad luck there real quick. Um, I guess I could use some super glue if I wanted to. Let me go do that. Let's see if I need this. Just so that we don't have to wait, I'm gonna use some quick, quick here in super glue. Uh, so let me, all right. So I'm going to just put a drop here. It'll come out. Hold on. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so I'm going to put one drop here. There we go. And one drop. There we go. All right, so we've got some super glue on there. Now, I want to spray it so it can cure quickly, but I don't want to spray the whole thing. So let me see. Um, I guess my best bet, you know what? I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll make this about as easy as I can by putting something around this so that I don't spray the whole piece, but I do need to get this sprayed. So let me just, let me knock that out. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some, something here and I'll just dab it dry. We'll call it a day. All right, so with that done, I'm just gonna go ahead now, and this is an alcohol wipe. All right, and that's just gonna clear it all up for me. There we go. All right. Let's zoom out now. Press on that button. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for, which is right there. 
Excellent. Okay. So now let's go ahead and put this back on. It's fairly easy, actually. Only, uh, only seven screws total to do this. So that should make it very easy for everybody. Now we're going to put this back on. I am in turbo mode today, so hang tight with me as we zoom through the rest of this work. Okay. screws back in. All right. Put the ribbon back in. And remember, make sure this uh, the brown clip is out. Then we will push our ribbon back in. I'll just use some tweezers to make sure it's in properly. Yep. And then push the brown clip down. And that's it. So that's sealed now in there. And that's it. Now we're just going to basically come in here, put our red and black back on, like that, okay. And then go ahead, put everything back, and look at that, how nice that goes back together. And we're done. That was a really quick, oh, let's see, total of six minutes of which I, I, I'll give I'll give one minute to finding super glue and, um, and the screwdriver, okay? So it's really not that long of a thing. It takes longer, I think, to almost screw the screws in than it does do anything else. So there we go. Okay. All right, last screw, and then we're gonna put the batteries in and make sure that we're good. Okay, let's make sure everything's good. I don't know if these batteries are charged, so if this doesn't come on, it's not going to be the radio. It will most likely be my bad battery, but let's just see. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any power coming on from my batteries here, so I think one of my batteries may be bad, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some new batteries, so hold on one second. Because these batteries, for some reason, and I mean, they're, they're in right, they're in correctly. But uh, I think I messed them up on a radio not too long ago. Let me grab another set real quick. Now, these, of course, are not going to be charged. This is going to be my, my bad luck, but let's see if I can just get them to work anyway. So it is the batteries. There we go. So we're good to go. I don't know what's wrong with these. I'll have to check them out. Let me see. Which one is not getting any power? I'm just curious here, guys. I know that's not part of the video, but I'm curious just to see. So let's see what we got. So we got ground and power. And stop rolling. Okay. Well, I'm confused now. So let's put that off. They are reading. I don't understand why they wouldn't be working unless I'm not making good contact. I should be. So let's just curious. And I know this is you can you can stop watching the video at this point. I'm just me. I'm just curious to understand why. So I'll, I'll swap these out. So that one works. Let's try the other one. This is the other one. So this is my bad battery right here. All right, so this one's bad. So we're just, I don't know why it's bad, but there's something wrong with this one. You see, looks good there. Looks good here, but we're gonna mark that one as bad and put that aside for now. So uh, good, we'll at least use this one for now and be able to get to work. And so there you go, guys. So, all right, uh, let's see. Let's get off of this, because here, here, bam, bam. Okay, so that was really quick. Actually, the video was about six, six and a half minutes, and then I went and tried the battery thing. So if you have any questions, please, as always, you can always email me through the contact page. So just go to our website, cyclonefb.com, and then go to the support section at the bottom left, and there you can find our contact page. Um, as always, please, please, please follow us on Facebook, and then always subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, I know I'm talking really fast, but I'm trying to get the bunch of things. I got a lot of quads to get out of here today. It is Saturday, and the mail is going to be here shortly. Um, other than that, guys, listen, God bless. Spend time with your family. Please make the most of it. You never know how much time you have left, so make the most of the time you have. 
while you have it, okay? God bless, guys, and as always, peace. <laughs> <laughs>